Whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state law. The police are sworn to uphold and enforce the law, but frequently the law itself makes work for the police. On April 27th, a prisoner serving a life term in the state penitentiary was called as a witness in the trial of the state versus Eddie Flanagan. It took a simple court injunction to release him from the penitentiary. The prisoner, Les Davis, had a wife and son. They had arranged for him to be called as a witness through Eddie Flanagan, the criminal on trial. Purpose? To free Les Davis. Another minute now, Ma. Trial's supposed to start at 10. You know, I never thought it would work, Ralph, for Ed to ask for Les as a witness. I thought the lawyers would make trouble. All your ideas work. Besides, Eddie and Pop used to work together. They're good friends. You know something, Ralph? I'm nervous about seeing him again. You've seen him every week at the prison. Not the same. There he is. You keep moving, Ralph. Everything's got to work the way we timed it. Right. Doing real good, son. Oh, I'm waiting outside. Here, here you go. Let's go. Yes, thank you very much. Get on that right away. Les Davis, he was over at the county courthouse as a witness in the Eddie Flanagan trial. Somebody walked in, shot a guard, and took him with him. Davis, Davis, he's supposed to be in the pen. A court injunction got him out. There's a teletype on it. Look at that roadblock fast. Let's see now. Here's the courthouse right in here. This place is covered with side roads. Hell. The way that Davis family works, the man who picked up Les could be his son, Ralph. Yeah, it could be. Myra's in on it, too? She's the smartest one of all. She wants her husband back, and she's got him. 10-4. 2830 just found an abandoned car that matches the description of the getaway car. Four-door sedan, green with gray top, NNX245. Send some lab men out, checking for fingerprints. If they change cars, it's going to be tougher. Yeah, I know. Where'd they find the car? Just off a small feeder road between 41 and 20. We're going out to the Davis house. Right. Wouldn't that be the last place they'd go? I know we'll give the house a good going over. Look, I told you Myra's smart. 
She knows we won't expect him to go to the house. She figures we'll be looking for him to break through the roadblocks. Come on, let's move. I told you about last now. Don't show yourself. And I'll be back for both of you before dark. Think you can get rid of the cops that fast? Well, maybe, maybe not. But if I don't, Ralph put plenty of food and water in there yesterday. Just stay here till I do come back. They'll put a tail on you. Well, I'll get rid of them. Once they search the house and have a little talk with me, it'll be the safest place there is. Then they'll open the roadblocks and we'll be on our way. And we'll take off. Okay, it'll work. I'll get the automatic rifle out of the truck. Honey, you worked this out real good. Come on, Pop. Over here. Well, here's where we stay for a while. for him. What's the motor running for? Battery almost died this morning. Hard to get started. I'm charging it. How long have you been running like this? Oh, excuse me, please. I don't know what time I started. Well, it really needed charging. It had read way overcharged. Well, then it must be charged enough. Would you turn it off for me, please? Certainly. Thanks. Can we go inside and talk? Why not? The old man's loose. You guys will be all over the place anyway. Check this car over with a fine tooth comb. If she used it to pick up less, she's covered up the warm engine. I'll see if I can find anything. Okay. Where's Ralph? I don't know. He was out when I got up this morning. Well, the description of the guy that helped Les fits Ralph. Well, same the boy did it. You know, he and Les were always close. Yeah. You've been here all morning? That's right, all morning. You mind if I look around? You got a search warrant? You want me to send for one? No, go ahead. If you look around now, I'll get rid of you that much sooner. He killed a deputy, Mrs. Davis. When we get him this time, it's curtains. I hope he makes it all the way. There's only one thing that bothers me. Why aren't you with him? Oh, come on now, Mr. Matthews. Let's not play it so cool. What makes you think I'd tell you anything? Well, you see, that's my job, to look around and ask questions and to try and be smarter than the Davidson. 
I can hardly wait to see how this comes out. Well, I'll tell you how it'll come out exactly, but I can't say when. Les will make it pretty expensive for you to get him back. Yeah? We'll pay the price. Find anything? Nothing in the car. The smart trick she used keeping the engine running. Yeah, now she doesn't have to explain why the engine was hot. But can she explain why the wheels and brake drums were hot? Just running the motor won't do that. Then my hunch was right. She wasn't in the job. 2150 to headquarters. Headquarters by. I want plain clothes in here at the Davis place. Eight hour shifts. It's 10 4. 10 4. Hop in. Don't let them see her. Their house is right by the side of a hill. If you park there, you got plenty of cover. I see. What's up, officer? Did I run a red light or something? Well, uh, what do you mean? Well, I'll make it real easy for you. What are you following me for? All right, Miss Davis, I am following you. Well, you can just get lost. You can call your Mr. Matthews on the radio and tell him you spoiled the job. Twenty-seven thirty-eight. It's twenty-one fifty. Twenty-one fifty by. She just pulled across the road and blocked me. She knows I'm following her. I'm afraid I've had it. Try and pick her up again. Ten four. Ten four. Now, let's go. Come on, boys. Hurry up. Get in there. We're ahead. If not, we draw a blank. You stay here. You'll know if I'm in trouble. A man's coming to the door now. It's Matthews, a real smart guy. How many are out there now? Three. Get in there. Well, can I talk to you? It's the free country. Come in. Thanks. Mr. Matthews, I've already had the pleasure of your company once today. You've tramped through my house, you've looked at everything, nobody asked you for a search warrant. Now, would you mind getting out of here? Mrs. Davis, in some ways you've been very cooperative. Before I leave, I'd like to ask one small favor. On your auto ride this morning, you lost my boy for a few minutes. Yeah, that boy. He's not very good. You'd better send him back directing traffic. In that time, you could have picked up Ralph and Les. I want to make sure they're not here. Do you mind if I look around? Go ahead.
What's the matter? Lost your appetite for Snoopy? Well, I'm a little nervous, Mrs. Davis. Les is a tough guy. His being out makes it rough on me. You can understand that. Yeah, I can understand that. So how about leaving? Before I get so sorry for you, I start crying. Be my guest. Okay. I think he's going to give up. You work great, Ma. I'm going to check the other side of the house. Well, Les? In a way, I wish you to come in. We'd have cut that three down to two. No, Les. This way we're clean. We hide out for a week, then over the border. No trouble, no shooting. I'm not so sure it was a good idea to come here. But this is the best possible place. Why, they think we're too smart to hide out here. Get the bullhorn, Sergeant. Right. She alone in there? That's what she wants me to think. When I was there the first time today, she was like I. She was on my back every minute. Yeah, she's hardly the type you'd pick for a mother of the year. Yeah, right now she's edgy, nervous. Did you get a chance to look around? Well, I started to when I realized they were there. So I walked out. I like to live. Even on days like this? Yeah. Thanks. Well, Sergeant, you work your way around to the back of the house. Get in a position where you can spot every window. Go ahead and be careful. Right. Good luck. at the Davis house. We've got them holed up. Let's Ralph and Myra Davis are inside. Then the help you can spare, send tear gas. Better make that 1199. We'll need help fast. 10-4? 10-4. Yes, sir. Look, Pop. There are a lot of bushes out in the front yard. If I stay low, I can cross the porch into the yard and maybe work halfway up to him before they see me. Then we can get out of here. What do you think, Myra? Well, my kid's a good trout. He's fast. And furthermore, those flat feet don't expect it. Let him go. All right, son. I take your time. And when you make a move, we'll give you some covering fire. Maybe I ought to be going out there instead of Ralph. Listen, Les, we've never played this to lose before. Let's not start now. Look, front door just opened. I can't see anything, but let's fire a couple of shots into the bushes just to play safe. Well, let's cover it. is right in front of the house. I think I saw something.
can't see the car from where they are. I think we can make it that way. It's worth a try. Ralph did real good. He just shot a little too high. The cops were on the ground behind the trees. Well, don't you shoot high. I'll drive. Okay, let's go. You think she'll come out? No, she's the toughest of them all. Myra. 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 It's Les. He's still alive. Go over and see what you can do for him. Drop the gun. Drop it. Smart girl. Too bad you could have a nice family, too. With it next week. Until then, remember, no matter how new, the safest device in your car is you. This is Bradley Crawford saying. <laughs>